I want to ask Master that if we give money in charity, can we ask the benefit go for the ghost and demons or no? The benefit go to the ghost? Yeah. Uh, Is it possible? Can do. Can do. Of course. You give in their name. Can do. If you know the ghost. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> People do that all the time. Like somebody die, and then they take their clothes, their possession, and give it to outside people in their name for their benefit. You can do it for the ghost. You can wish, no harm, okay? <laughs> Even if you don't know the ghost, you may wish for your surrounding ghosts, their benefit, okay? Even if it doesn't benefit, at least they feel comforted and they feel grateful that you think of them. I cannot guarantee if they benefit or not, but at least you have good heart, okay? Good for you. Mm? <laughs> when I was uh, younger, I was still married. I recited the sutra every day in Germany, yeah? And the weather in winter is very cold, you know, There's snow outside. But I open a window. I sit in the room, I open a window. I wish the ghost to hear it. I wish other living beings invisible to hear it, and all the animals around to hear it. So that may be the benefit. <laughs> Because there are all the living beings around, you know, invisible and visible. Also the animals around in the yard or hiding, they can hear the, the good words from the Buddha, and maybe they get benefit. That's what I was thinking. And it was cold. <laughs> yeah. I cover myself. It's still cold. You know, in Europe, it can be very cold in winter. Mm. I was young. <laughs> I was just thinking like that. And I asked my Buddhist teacher if it's okay or not to do that, whether they benefit or not. They said, sure, they benefit. Anyone who hears Buddha teachings benefit. At least it's positive words. Remind them to be positive, to have hope, and to pray, of course, benefit. So I recite very loud, even though in German at night you shouldn't make loud noise. <laughs> My neighbors were very benevolent. They didn't say anything. Not only noise, but I beat the fist. Kong, 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 and bang. Kong, 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 bang. <laughs> because you recite the, the sutra, you read, and you uh, accompany so that you don't sleep. <laughs> not for the Buddha to hear anybody. It's for you to not sleep. You see, like, when one is permeated with hearing one separate. And now and then you have bong also, the, the gong, yeah? And now I understand why. So that you don't sleep. <laughs> and uh, normally, other normal neighbors, they would complain, you understand? But they did not, because they opened windows. That means upstairs or surrounding neighbor, they will hear it. <laughs> they didn't complain. Oh, they are good people, educated. Lawyers, doctors, engineers, they all live in the same block, because they are expensive area, a residential, and very exclusive, eh? with big gardens, sauna, swimming, <laughs> swimming pool, with the waves, artificial waves. So it's not for normal people who can afford it. I live on the ground floor even, <laughs> so all the upstairs people benefit from my gong, gong, gong. <laughs> and I do it late at night also, you know, I didn't say nothing. <laughs> now I think about it, it's not considerate of me, you know. I didn't say nothing, probably they just shut the window, stuff their ears. <laughs> go sleep, work too hard all night, don't hear nothing. Or maybe my, my voice is so... You say, re huh? Not soothing, but sleep inducing, you know? <laughs> and after a while, I think just like a lullaby, you know? I like just sleep. Because you don't just read, you, you read like singing. Eh? Your voice is beautiful, man. Hmm? Oh, thank you. Your thank voice you. is beautiful. Thank you, thank you. For you, I am all beautiful, all of you. 